Um, Phallocele is one of the two relatively common abdominal wall defects that we can determine in utero by ultrasound. The other is gastroschisis, and the major difference is that in gastroschisis, there is not a covering overlying the intestines. Uh, additionally, with gastroschisis, usually only the intestines, both small and large, protrude through the defect. With omphalocele, there's a membrane or a sac covering the uh, intestines, and also the liver frequently protrudes through the abdominal wall defect. The things that determine the outcome for omphalocele are two things. One, the size of the defect. The size of the defect can vary from a very small defect that's one to two centimeters in diameter to one that occupies essentially the entire abdominal wall. It can be as great as 10 centimeters or, or larger. The other thing that determines outcome is the presence of other anomalies. Frequently, infants and fetuses with omphalocele's have another anomaly, most commonly cardiac defects. So uh, the way that we determine the outcome for babies with, car with omphalocele's is the size of the defect and the absence or presence of other anomalies.